What's going on my peoples? We are back up in the kitchen with a simple little recipe today. Today we're making baked lemon pepper baked catfish. Um wash my catfish fillet. And um let me tell you, this is gonna be the ingredients today. We're gonna be using some garlic. We're gonna be using some old bay seasoning, lemon pepper, lemon pepper. Um, some cayenne pepper. Uh, we got some spread right there. And the most important, the very most important ingredients today, guys, that we're going to need. Oh, we're going to be using some olive oil, but this is the, this is the most important ingredients today. It's already made. We're going to be using some um, pretzel, right? Now, before we get into the fish, what you want to do with a pretzel, you want to grab it. We want to take a bite. Nice and lovely pretzel. Now let's get let's get to real work. Let me go wash my hands real quick. So let's go ahead and get this fish seasoned nice and lovely. Go ahead and get it seasoned. Season up. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna um. We don't want to over season this because we're gonna um. Halfway during the cooking process, we're going to be throwing some lemon butter on top of the um, fish fillet. So, I'll sprinkle some garlic on top of it. Nice and lovely. Put some old bay on him. Nice. Get it right. Here's the master. Um, to the old bear and then there's a little touch of the cayenne pepper not too much cayenne pepper and we're not gonna put too much seasoning on this we're not gonna make this complicated and you know real nice and easy cooking get it all on at one time not too much cayenne pepper we don't want this too hot you know and just just rub it and then we're gonna Flip it and do the same thing on the next side, okay? So, wipe my hands and my towel real quick. So, garlic. It's a nice recipe, people. I'm going to show you the most important part of the recipe is coming up. Old Bay. I'm going to sprinkle local. And it's that time, it's that time people. We gotta take a break. The most important part of this recipe is pretzel break. So right now I got the oven um, going at about 400 degrees right now. And um, we're gonna take this olive oil and we're basically gonna um, make sure the bottom of this pot is nice and greasy and nice and um, ready for Catfish fillet. Unfortunately, looking on this baking pan right here, it looks like it's only going to be able to take two of this catfish. It's okay though. So let's get it up in here. It looks like I'm probably going to have to cut one of these bad boys. No, just perfect. Nice. All right, fit just perfect. I'm going to get one right there, and then we're going to get one right there. It's all good. Nice. So. If I really wanted to force it, I could scoot that over and try to force it on that side, but I'm not going to do that. I need this to cook with space. So we're going to go ahead and um, put this in the oven for about 25 years. 
No, we're going to put it in the oven for about 15 years. 15 minutes, that is. So let's get this in the oven. So what I'm doing right now, I'm getting ready to um, create that lemon pepper burst that's going to make this catfish pop, right? To the very last drop. So what I'm going to do, take some of this spread and put it in there so I'm going to melt it. Right, not too much. That's a nice little flavor, probably a little bit more. So we're gonna melt this in the microwave and we'll come right back. So while we're waiting, let's talk about seasoning for a second, right? Now seasoning is all about, you know, feeling. You gotta, it's all about feelings, right? You have to cook with feelings, you know? You gotta try to create, you gotta try to learn what each, uh, each seasoning does. You know what I'm saying? You need to learn the difference between that herb, all purpose, all purpose, that complete seasoning. And you gotta try to bring it together to um, form your own, you know? And brand, um, I like to use my Jamaican seasoning, but I'm currently out of Jamaican seasoning right now. Um, I was a big fan of Badia. I like using Badia, right? Um, I like using Old Bay. I always got to have me some Old Bay on hand, right? Now, let me talk about this season right here, this company right here, right? Now, I got this the other day, and I was, um, at first I was skeptic, you know, to buy such a big um, jar at once. It's all purpose seasoning, right? But then I used this on some jerk chicken to help season my jerk chicken to bring some, bring it to life, you know. And um, I'm telling you, it's, it's very, very good. And it is Cheney Brothers um, seasoning, all purpose. So after I tried that and I was satisfied with that, I went and I got the, um, the garlic. I bought the garlic from um, Cheney Brothers. And now... I bought me the lemon pepper. So this is going to be the first time I'm using the lemon pepper from Cheney Brothers before I was using it from Badia. As a matter of fact, I think I still got some from Badia. So I didn't find that seasoning, but right here, what I got for you guys, I got a bunch of different, basically all these can use as all purpose seasoning, right? Com complete season, all purpose, pretty much the same thing, right? Now, a lot of you guys gonna go out there, right? And what you guys gonna do, you're shopping for seasoning and you're gonna get tricked with buying stuff like this. If you really don't know what to do with stuff like this, just simply stick to like an all-purpose um, complete seasoning because it's basically the same thing with just a little bit of different ingredients. You know what I'm saying? So just take your time, feel out different, different seasoning and get to know your seasoning. Um, Feel your seasoning, um, cook cook something with one thing. Like let's just say you're, you're cooking some wings, right? Okay, try wings with this, right? And then try it with this, right? Then try it with this. Then you might go a combination with a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And you just gotta mix and match and, and just cook with your heart, guys. You get what I'm saying? When you, come, when you get stuff like this, be very careful of how much um, seasoned salt you're adding to your food, you know, because majority of these seasoning, even though they say they don't have salt in it, they does come with salt, you know. So let's get back to the cooking process. Um, so just a little season talk real quick. So we got the spread melted. So we're just going to um, put some lemon, lemon pepper in there. And we gonna we want to get this we want to get this um catfish nice and popping. That's a good amount right there. Not too much. I say not too much for everything, and it end up being too much. And at this point, I want to take a little taste. Make sure it's not, make sure it's just right. Uh, 
Now it can use a little bit more cat. It can use a little bit more lemon pepper. So we're gonna put a little lemon pepper in there, a little bit more. Get it nice and popping. As I tell you, it's my first time using um this lemon pepper seasoning from um Cheney Brothers. So we're gonna see. Usually the only the big difference I'll tell you right now with um well let me see first. Because I already noticed a difference between this and Badia. But I don't want to say nothing yet until I do some lemon pepper wings. Yeah, that's nice right there. Nice. So here you go, my people. It's halfway through the cooking process. We're just going to take this lemon pepper. And we're just going to go like that. Get it nice and look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You see that? Look at that. So we're going to put this back in the oven for about five minutes and then we're going to put it on broil for about five minutes. So let's go. There you go, my people. Looking so nice and fantabulous. Fantastic and fabulous, that is. Look at that. Fantabulous. In the right color. That's the color I was looking for, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.